In the 19th century, the typewriter was invented by a man called Christopher Scholes. The typewriter was a big, by then already wireless, device that was able to print letters directly onto paper. Nice and neat, and much more legible than Mr. Scholes' own handwriting. The first typewriter's keyboard had an alphabetic layout, but when Scholes typed his own first name a bit too quickly, the type paths for the characters S and T would collide and become entangled. As you can imagine, this had a tremendous adverse effect on Christopher's status updates. To be able to type more quickly, the keyboard had to be rearranged in such a way that the letters that were used together most frequently came to lie far apart from each other. Quite a puzzle for Mr. Scholes, but from 1873, the QWERTY typewriter became all the rage with writers and secretaries. And to this day, we're still left with this layout on our computer keyboards. Not particularly logical or easier to write with, but just because it was designed that way. Just like the alphabet, but in a different order. Chances are that even in a thousand years, if we'll still be typing by then, we'll be typing on a QWERTY keyboard. Except for the Belgians, because they use a zerty, Just like the French, but they have the at sign not under the two, but under the zero. But that's just their old French tradition.